All right, Pisces, let's get a collective reading for the sign of Pisces. This is going to be energy surrounding Pisces for the next 72 hours. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest and most high, you are welcome into this reading. This is for Pisces, Pisces only coming through. All right, what do we got? We got the hammock. Taking a vacation physically or mentally. So some of you guys could be taking a vacay. Maybe you're doing something for the holidays or this is just you relaxing physically, mentally, taking a break, enjoying your sanctuary. <laughs> All right. You guys trying to take me there, huh? You want to take me there with you? All right, you got the month of April coming out. This has been coming out for like a hot minute. And you got the kite, vacation. Some of you guys may be actually taking a vacation. Maybe you're doing something in the month of April. Okay, or maybe you're planning something. Hmm. Some of you guys could be planning a vacation in the month of April. Strong energy here about taking a vacay. Or maybe you're needing to. What else do we got for Pisces? We've got the mule. Someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. Alrighty. Not my problem. Not your problem either. The pale time to get out of a situation. Alright. Well, maybe then it is your problem. Maybe it's time to go. Okay, you could be dealing with someone who's extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. Okay, don't try to change people. That shit never works, Pisces. The only one that we can control is ourselves. Eye sales. Um, fucking, look at my hairline. Like, who has a hairline like that? Hmm. I'm not going to talk about it. <laughs> Even though I just brought it up. All right, show me. What's up with this vacation energy here for Pisces? Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands. Six of Swords. There you go. It's time to stand up and be like, yo, boss. I'm out. I'm, I'm dipping out. Okay. <laughs> okay. The seven of wands also talks about like determination, challenging opposition. So yeah, some of you guys may be like, I'm going. I don't know what you're talking about, but I'm going. Maybe you need to tell someone, not ask. Okay. Just saying. Don't get in trouble though. <laughs> Okay, what else do we got for this vacation energy spirit? Moving on up. All right, you got, oh shit, Ace of Pentacles in the reverse and the Lovers. And Ace of Swords upright. The Ace of Swords can talk about like plans, ideas, um, breakthroughs, clarity, communication. Now the Lovers can be a choice. Could have to do with the partnership as well. Gemini energy. Gemini season. When is Gemini season? Uh, June, huh? April, May, June. Show me this Ace of Swords. You may need to like plan or strip. Thank you, Spirit. Plan, okay? You may need to plan. Because six, the reason I said that, six of swords, the ace of swords, the seven of swords, seven of swords can talk about, you know, some type of strategic power move. Okay. But yeah, good news. You may need to plan something. Like this may be an idea or a thought, but there may be a need to plan. Show me this ace of pentacles in the reverse. Because you may feel like you're lacking the money. Uh or the opportunity to do something. Yeah, exactly. Eight of Swords. You feel stuck or you feel restricted. Maybe because of a lack of money or lack of opportunity. Okay. So just to just to feed into this situation that I'm seeing. And it may be completely different for y'all. But um, I don't even know if I should say this. But you know, nowadays trips and or vacations and shit is so much different. Like you could plan something in the in the year of 2025. You can plan something for not this April, but next April. Okay. And make small payments all throughout the year. 
with your trip, your airfare, your whatever is entailed into it. And you can sit there and make little payments for the next year and four months. But if you don't start planning, like you're never going to have that opportunity. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Like you're keeping yourself stuck. Okay. The choice is yours. I'm just saying. I ain't no one's, what do you call that? Mentor. I mean, probably could be, but probably not. Anyways, like the choice is yours. I'm just giving you something to think about, you know? I'm not telling you what to do, what not to do, how to do it, where to do it, how. I ain't telling you nothing, but there's something here about planning. Whatever this idea, this thought it is that you have, you get to planning. Because otherwise you're going to be sitting there next year like, damn, I still don't have enough money. Or I still don't feel secure enough or I still feel like I'm I'm you know the time is now passes <laughs> okay show me April show me April Queen of Swords Eight of Pentacles Yeah the Queen of Swords is like get organized um What's the right word I'm looking for? Um, so the Eight of Pentacles is like hard work, okay? It's it's skillful. It's putting in the work, uh, building up those pentacles. Now, this could be saving, working on something. But with the Queen of Swords, um, yeah, this could be, you know, Queen of Swords could talk about cr constructive criticism. There's a word I'm looking for. It's not even on this card, but it's... Um, uh, What's the word? Um, mm -hmm. Just being like very like logic and organization. The Queen of Swords is also someone who's very inf informational. Uh, she has a like it talks about facts, so paperwork, um, details, stuff like that. Like there may be a need to like get to work, like you know. Look over paperwork, look over the details, how much, you know, if this is pertaining to this trip, and I'm just going to use this as an example for others of you guys, this could be in regards to a, a job, you know, or a new opportunity for yourself. It's like, hey, you're keeping yourself stuck at somewhere that doesn't have any opportunity for growth here with the Ace of Pentacles. And maybe just, and you may need to come up with a different idea, different plan, stand up for yourself. Like, no, I deserve better than this. You know, yeah, yeah, I might have to move. Yeah, I might have to travel. Maybe you have to travel across a body of water, but start putting some type of plans. Um, you know, start working out the details. You know, to me, this may seem like something that is very, uh, like, like, uh, just whatever, like, I don't know, just do it. But to someone, whoever I'm reading for, this may be something that, like, you think about it, everything that was ever done came from a thought, you know? So sometimes, you know, thoughts seem far-fetched or, um, something may seem far-fetched, but the more information you get, the more, uh, the more logic and organization will increase your success is what I'm getting. So it's like the more like you finding out the facts and putting in the work and actually and in looking into a situation, getting the information that you need, um, I feel like that could move you forward. I hope I'm making sense because I feel like I just went around in circles, but we'll see. Well, we shall see. Tell me more about April. Yeah, the Knight of Swords in the reverse can talk about a missed opportunity or a delay, all right? So, um, or some out of your death control left behind, you know? So this may feel like something here may feel like it's out of your control, but um, yeah, Four of Cups. Again, a mi okay, so Spirit's saying, no, it's a missed opportunity. Don't miss an opportunity, okay? Start working on something now. Start putting in the work now. Maybe something will materialize by April, maybe next April. And the reason I said next April is not because I see it here in the tarot cards, but depending on how big or small your little trip or vacay is, how long, whatever, however much planning takes to go into this, it's like 
say if it's a thousand dollar trip okay so i need to save 250 bucks a month all right to pay for this whole trip and that's all details included okay that means you got four months right 250 bucks a month if this is um you know i don't know what your guys's budget's like so i'm not here to be putting numbers and make you feel some type of way but you know, if it was like 2000 okay, let's not plan this April, let's do next April. So that way I'm not like breaking myself trying to, excuse me, make sure I get there. Um, show me the mule. Someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. You know, life isn't supposed to be all about, and I get it, with today's freaking society, it's like, we feel like, I don't know how y'all feel, but sometimes, I know a lot of people feel like this, it's like, you feel like you work, 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 it's like you're working just to die, <laughs> or retire, you know, or you work, 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 constantly striving to get ahead, that we forget to have fun sometimes, you know, um, so even if you're someone with no support system or there's a situation that you're getting out of, you can conquer anything on your own. It just needs to be planned out and like, um, like the work needs to be put in. Something here is not going to get done itself. You know, there's been situations in my life that I felt like, like I put off for years because I thought I could never achieve something. And then once it was like I broke it down into little sections, I fucking achieved that shit. And now I look back at my life and I'm like, damn, I did that. And those those things that were so far fetched for me is so far in my past. And I'm so much like diff like in a different place than where those things were that I'm like, damn, those are shits that's like was in the past and I don't even realize how much I've done or how far I came. You know, but it's you gotta do it. Otherwise I would have been sitting here at this age like, damn, I need to get this done. You know? I don't know. Someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. You got the Queen of Cups coming out in the upright, Four of Pentacles. Queen of Cups is a mother figure. It's someone who's very loving, caring, intuitive, empathetic in the upright. And the Four of Pentacles, I don't know if there's someone here in your energy who you need to pull back from. Okay. Nose is itching. Tower and the Nine of Wands. Mm. give me one on this tower there could be like a sudden I don't know, like an impulsive move to let it, to let something damn that could be a backfire sheesh at least eight of wands in the reverse returning from okay so what's the knight of wands something here could happen unexpectedly you will extremely stubborn and willing to change. Some of the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands. The Moon. What is the Moon? Pisces, Cancer, Aries, Leo, Sag. Hmm. So there's some type of fear or worry here about someone rushing in this knight of wands. This could be someone who's in and out of your life. The tower and the eight of wands reverse. Something could happen unexpectedly. There could be delays with travel, com communication. There could be some type of a backfire here that, damn, backfires unexpectedly. What is this, this fear and this anxiety about? And this could be you, Pisces. And a sword. It's about like some type of forward movement into abundance and having the strength and the courage to like take decisive action here or to stay on track, stay focused. Because there could be some type of an interference here that comes in and could cause some type of delay or backfire, stress, worry, fear of the unknown. I don't know. This is just someone who is not a wands energy can be a stubborn energy because this is someone who's in this, um, 
carefree, uh, like daredevil -y, like I do what I want, I come and go as I please, can't tell me nothing type of energy. The strength card also talks about self-control. So, and the Empress, Queen of Cups. Some of you could be a mother. This could have to do with pregnancy as well. I don't know if anybody's worried that they're pregnant. Oh. If you're not trying to get pregnant, be careful because someone here could be very fertile and there could be an unexpected like If, yeah. This could be with someone who's in and out. Anyway, show me time to get out of a situation. Four of Swords. It's time to take a break. Like that mental vacay. Time to get out of a situation. I don't know whether... What type of situation is this? For some of you guys, this could be work, love, life, friends, family. Uh, acquaintances, environments, okay? I don't know, but definitely in need of a change here. The sun and the seven of swords showing itself. Yeah. Some of y'all may be, yeah, like I said, the sun card can talk about like travels, you know, sometimes even international travels or somewhere where it's sunny, somewhere where there's a lot of joy, happiness, growth positivity okay the seven of swords you may need to strategize on how to like free yourself how to liberate yourself how to um you know strategize how to get into this type of energy here time to get out of the situation you know what it is pisces time to get out of a situation those of you guys that are like i don't need to get out of shit this ain't your reading okay but if you want to take a vacation lego lego Okay. Those of you guys that know you're dealing with someone who's stubborn and unwilling to change, just be careful here. There may be a need to have some type of self-control because someone's fears could, uh, I don't want to say can manifest into reality, but someone's fears could actually come back to bite someone in the ass. That's the best way I can put it. If there's no self-control, okay? Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. Time to get out of a situation. There goes that Six of Swords in the world. Yeah, some of you guys need to go for a fucking trip, y'all. Like, go somewhere where there's some water. Go travel the world. Go, go to a different part of the world. Go to a different geographical location. Go sit on the water on a boat, on a canoe, on a fucking floaty. I don't know. Okay? Go float around. You may be doing this by yourself. Okay? Show yourself some self-love here. Get out of a situation. Go. Go ahead, Pisces. Also, some of you could give me one on this Knight of Cups. You may receive a message like of good news. Give me one on this Knight of Cups. Because there's also something here about maybe somewhere where you're traveling could bring in a lot of like independent, independent wealth or like some some type of a transition here could be very beneficial for your independence for your finances but there's the need to to get out of a situation it's like spirit god whoever you believe in subscribe to okay is not going to send this in to, in for you or take you there until you get out of a situation show me the knight of cups i don't know what that is you're trying to elevate in some way and you feel like your environment keeps pulling you down, but you stay in it because um, because you don't have your next plan planned out. Make some plans, even if they're not concrete plans. Um, I 
maybe start planning something now and by April something here will like materialize or there will be some type of communication. Like say if you're looking for a job, the Queen of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, maybe in April you receive back some communication on some type of employment or, you know, but start planning something now. Start looking now. Start start doing something now. Because there's a situation here that I feel like whoever I'm tapping into, you need to get out of a situation. Yeah, Target. I just now noticed that. Uh, Goal-oriented person. Set yourself some goals, man. Man, sorry. Talking like you. Talking to that. Whatever. Sorry. Talking to you like that. Set yourself some goals, man. Like Nike. Just do it. All right. I'm getting hella cheesy. I should quit. Show me the Knight of Cups. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. Start planning whatever this is, okay? It may take time, six, seven months, I don't know. But this is going to bring in a lot of success and victory, okay? Use your use your charm. Use your charm, your warmth, and I feel like you're going to... There is something here that is going to be a success, but there's a need to, like... Give me this Four of Swords. Yeah, someone here, I feel like someone here is very likable, like very, um, what's the right word? Someone here is like very likable, but there's something that's pulling you back. Fear of the unknown, feeling overwhelmed, stressed out, weighed down. I don't know, what's his four swords? Whatever's making you feel like that, it's time to go. King of Swords, yeah, start. The decision is now. Or, you know, it's just King of Swords. I'm trying to see if this card has it. The word I was looking for earlier. Mm. Structured, maybe. Disciplined. Um, yeah, five of Pentacles. It's like it's whatever whoever I'm talking to. I don't know what you gotta do, but you gotta make a break for it. Okay. Ouch. You gotta. Leave something behind, Pisces. You got to leave something behind to walk into some type of success here. This is giving me, you know, and just an easy example, and this may not even resonate with you guys, but like, you know, when people try to like, oh, they stay in a marriage until they find somebody else, or um, I got a good one. Um, I know someone that's going through this right now. So you're in a marriage, you live with that person. And then you meet someone else and then you sit here and you play this situation until these two can come, until these two can come together or until you know for sure that you want to go with this person and you sit here and you lead this person on. You know you're already setting that other situation up for failure, right? You are. You got you to get out of this situation and then become your own person. And heal and focus, you know, do your thing. And then you can come together with this person. You can't just go fucking doing that shit. You're setting it up for failure. And people don't realize that. People do it all the time. But then they wonder why that shit falls apart, you know? It's when you don't use, when you don't act with integrity. Okay, don't get me wrong. Now, let's say you're with somebody and you're this person over here and and this person's been beating you and, and keeping you trapped in the house and, and taking your money or whatever the fuck people do out there. And then you're like, fuck, you know, I finally meet this person and this person kind of takes you and helps you mend from whatever. Sorry. <laughs> helps you mend from whatever bullshit, toxic situation this is. That can be sometimes trauma bonding. Sometimes it could be a connection, a soulmate, or someone who you meet who helps lift you up and helps heal you to a certain point 
from whatever you just left. Now that's a little different. So I guess it can go both ways. But just like leading a, a person on without having like really any reason or a valid reason, or even if that person did do something wrong in the past and then you choose to be something wrong, does that make you better? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. There's someone here that needs to get out of one situation and get into another situation. Someone is dealing with someone who I feel like is not going to change. They're stubborn. Okay. There's a need to have self-control and willpower because someone's biggest fear could like backfire in someone's face. For some, this couldn't, it could be like, oh, okay. Um, I'm planning on, on doing this. I'm planning on doing this. And then you're so close. And then all of a sudden you find out you're pregnant or your person's pregnant or whoever that person is. And you're like, damn it. I just fucked all my shit up. Yeah. Sure did, didn't it? Yeah, you could get yourself caught up or stuck. Miss an opportunity. There's a need to set clear boundaries and move away from a situation. Not keep entertaining a situation that you know you want to get out of. You want out, you better get out. I'm going to go. <laughs> Pisces, I love you guys. Um, I hope that this reading helps someone out there. If it did, let me know by hitting that thumbs up. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Peace.